for the boys. Yeah. What's up, guys? Psycho here. Um, so I wanted to make a video real quick, kind of explaining something that some of you guys are gonna be like, "Psycho, you don't even play this game," and the other one is gonna be like, "You ain't even good at the game." And I get it. I get it. So you can take what I have to say as a grain of salt. It's just my opinion, but it's things that I've noticed in the community that I noticed in another community. And of course, I'm talking about Fortnite. So, um, I just watched a couple of videos from other YouTubers that stream Fortnite very often. They're really good at Fortnite. They enjoy playing it. And they're complaining about the same things that Paragon lovers noticed in the game right before it died. So, I have three uh, little pointers that you can say in the comments down below if I'm wrong. I mean, I, I tried playing the game. I don't really enjoy it. Um, not just because it killed Paragon, but because it's not my type of game. Um, I don't play PUBG that often either. The whole Battle Royale thing is kind of different. But so that I didn't have a camera just staring at me as you guys watch, you're going to see some of my Velika gameplay from back in the day. I used to love her. I still do. One of these days I'll get her back, right? But now moving on. So the first point I have for today is um, the fact that Epic Games is constantly trying to build a family-friendly competitive game. In my opinion, it seems as if they're trying to just constantly give out skill. You know, like the participation trophy at a Little League game. They're just... They're trying to make it to where every gamer can play their game. All different types of gamers can play their game and just be naturally good at it. And it doesn't make any sense. Um, they did the same thing with Paragon where they kept changing the game, making it more and more simple to the point that it just it absolutely ruined the game. Now, there were some things that were really good, like how they started putting arrows on the ground. Um, or the way that they changed up um, selecting your character. All those were fine, but they felt things like the card system. They felt like the card system was too difficult. Now, I'm not saying that it wasn't. It took time to get used to. It took time to master, but that's okay, and that's what Epic doesn't understand. It's okay to need to take some time in learning a game. Um, and it goes into, like, my other point with their core mechanics. What you need to do is build a game based off of one idea, your core mechanic, how the game works. In, in Paragon, it was this different type of MOBA. It wasn't like Smite. Um, it wasn't like Dota. It was, it was different. And that's what people enjoyed about it, and that's why argu arguably, ugh, if I can even say that name, or if I can even say that, um, wasn't even a MOBA. People didn't even classify it as a MOBA, third-person MOBA. That's kind of weird, right? But it worked. People liked it. Um, and they tried so hard to get away from being called a MOBA that they change too much in it. Now that's not necessarily that Fortnite is trying to get away from the Battle Royale feel because it's definitely a Battle Royale game and they get that. It's one thing that they're doing right. Um, but they're trying so hard to make everybody equal in this game. Like building is the core mechanic besides, you know, um, sur surviving being the last person standing. Building is what makes Fortnite different. The They're doing the same thing in Fortnite that they did to Paragon. They are trying to kind of get away from the building aspect, trying to make the building aspect easier while they have, um, I forgot how they explained it, but how they have 
the um, speed building. Now, let me disclaimer again, I don't play Fortnite this much. That much at all. I'm getting this from people that stream Fortnite, are really good at Fortnite, and the only reason why I'm bringing this to the the attention to my channel is we complained about the same stuff as Paragon was dying. They're changing things and I feel like Fortnite is going to ultimately feel or go down the same path that Paragon did. So they're giving out skill like it's candy. They think that skill is just one of those things where you know they can just easily help people so everyone can be equal everyone can be um, a freaking grandmaster or you know nobody's bad at the game which is why they brought like LMGs and miniguns into Fortnite to kinda counteract building in a big way to help those people that aren't good at building and that's just not what you do your game is your game and you don't let people change that it's like when I was playing Paragon the biggest thing was my deck building. I got pretty good at it. A lot of my decks were really good. And it seemed like no matter how many kills I got in a deck, there would always be some somebody critiquing it, trying to tell me to take all this stuff out. And for the longest time, for like Morigesh and my Yin deck, I was listening to these people. And I was changing my deck. And it just wasn't working. Not that their decks were bad, but because my play style was different. You have to find your own play style. And Epic just, they, they don't understand that. And they're continuing to do this even now in Fortnite. I'm noticing it. And it, it moves into my second point of listening too much to new gamers. You know, they're not listening to the veterans, people who have play their game rather it had been Paragon or Fortnite people that have took time to learn the mechanics to put the grind in they're not listening to what they have to say they keep listening to the new people like for Paragon where they were like the card system's too hard so they went ahead and changed the entire card system in the core aspect of the game they went and changed everybody's abilities maxed everybody out, put everything on a reset to try and help everybody. And guess what, Epic? You can't do it. People are going to complain. People aren't going to like how some things work. Doesn't mean you need to go and change that. You don't need to go into Fortnite, make all these changes, because people that don't play the game that often are saying it's too hard. That's just how it is. A game's not meant for everybody. Building in that is very difficult, something I will probably never master, because one, I don't care to master it, but two, in my opinion, it's really difficult. You know, I thought at first the, the card system for Paragon was difficult, but once I, like, had a lot of care into it and took the time, I got really good at it and understood how that works. Epic, that's all it takes. Like, you're about to trash another game because you are so scared that some people are just not going to learn. People will learn if they want to learn and you can't make them learn by making your veteran community people that have spent the money and spent a whole lot of time on your game just so that you can trash it because some new gamers are saying this aspect of the game is too hard. Um, my final point was like the changing core mechanics but I kind of beat that horse to death a little bit biggest thing I'm trying to get at is I don't know if you guys are noticing it too I'm definitely noticing it but I think Fortnite is going to share the same fate as Paragon because they are doing the exact same thing to Fortnite that we all noticed in Paragon and I mean luckily there's a team that's uh, working on a Paragon too I'm really excited about that Fortnite is dying so much faster than Paragon. If Epic does the same thing to Fortnite, Fortnite's just going to be gone. Like, there might be another game that comes out that shares the same mechanics as Fortnite, but, you know, nobody's really going to care that much. 
in my opinion. Epic, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. Listen to the people that have taken time to play your game, that have taken time to learn the mechanics of your game and how your game works. You nerfed shotguns because people were complaining that the shotguns were too strong. When in reality, when you look at the the way their software works for uh, combat, the only weapons that are specific that are based on aim are the sniper rifles, the scoped AR, and the shotguns. All the other weapons are based off of um, essentially a code is how it was explained to me and the the fact that you can hit somebody or the amount of damage that you give out is all dependent on a randomized code and it's taking skill out of the game and it's causing the game just to be a luck thing because that's what Paragon or not Paragon that's what Epic wants Epic wants the game to be easy for everyone and you can't do that but if you guys agree to anything if I made any sense in this video um, go ahead I'd like to hear what you guys have to say whether you're a Fortnite veteran or like me you don't care about Fortnite um, let me know down in the comments if you guys notice the same thing if you think that Fortnite's gonna go the same uh, gonna go down the same path or are these people just just kind of talking because either they're getting bored of Paragon or or getting bored of Ep or uh, freaking can't talk right now. Getting bored of Fortnite. Um, in my opinion, I don't think Fortnite is going to last long. I think it's going to share the same fate as Paragon. Or yeah, and then Epic's just going to move on to the next latest and greatest game, and then that's going to fall. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys for watching. Um, hit that like button if you made it through the whole video. I really do appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. Um, I stream more than I ever upload a video, but um, you can always catch me streaming. I try to stream every day. So go ahead and hit that sub button. And if you are a real MVP, go ahead and hit that bell button so that you don't miss anything. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great night. I'm going to go find something to play.